Good morning, friends and family and family of friends. Happy Friday the 24th, everyone. One more week in the history books and one week closer to sweet freedom. Well, we're spending a couple more hours on location from the Red Planet, and then off we go, destination unknown. Sunrise will be at 5.59 this morning, and sunset will be at 7.48 this evening. It will give us 13 hours and 49 minutes of glorious daylight to enjoy. Presently, it's 43 degrees outside, give or take a little bit, depending on where you live. Unfortunately, today you should expect cloudy skies with occasional showers on and off throughout the day. Highs should make it into the low 50s with winds out of the east northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. From our family of friends celebrating birthdays today, Happy birthday, Titus Hugested, Justin J., Stefan Hagenkopf, Roxanne Lutke, Amy Remus Burns, and last but certainly not least, Stephanie Howard. Our celebrity birthday shout out starts with a young actor and musician who landed his breakout role as Steve Harrington on the Netflix original series Stranger Things. Great TV series. Joey Carey turns 28 today. Our next celebrity is a popular British actress who played the role of intelligence anthropologist Charlotte Lewis on the sci fi drama Lost. She also just nailed the role as the Wicked Witch on the TV series Once Upon a Time another great TV series. Rebecca Mater turns 43 today. Our next celebrity was drafted to play quarterback in the NFL after a successful college career at Louisiana Texas University, but believe it or not, turned it down to pursue a different path. He is known to most as a Duck Dynasty star. He also founded the enormously successful duck call business called the Duck Commander. Phil Robertson turned 74 today. And our honored last shout out is for a household name and singing icon who has sold over 245 million records and won 10 Grammy Awards, including an Album of the Year award for the Barbra Streisand album in 1963. She has also had success as an actress, receiving an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in 1968 musical, the musical film Funny Girl. Barbra Streisand turned 78 today. All right, on to this day in history. It is thought that on today's date in 1184 BC, Greek soldiers entered the city of Troy, hidden inside a giant wooden horse. Surprise! On today's date in 1990, NASA launches their $1.5 billion Earth orbiting telescope. Although designed to view further into space than any telescope on Earth, a flaw in the lens greatly reduced its capabilities. They were able to send a replacement lens up that corrected the issue and the telescope has helped open our eyes to a much larger universe than we could have ever imagined. The telescope is named after the renowned astronomer Edwin Hubble. And on today's date in 2018, streaming music services officially overtook worldwide sales of CDs and vinyl for the first time. Heck, I still remember Dad having an 8-track player in his van. And as a kid, recording songs off the radio with a cassette player. Now we have live streaming, TV, music, video games. Heck, by the end of the year, driverless taxis are supposed to be hitting some of the big cities in our country. So uh, what a world. How, how exciting and strange at the same time. All right, from our comedy corner, why should you never trust stairs? Because they're always up to something. Today is National Pigs in a Blanket Day, National Hairball Awareness Day, National Teach Children to Save Day, and it's Arbor Day, so if you can, plant a tree today, or this weekend. Today's morning motivational is a simple, undeniable truth. Remember, if things don't work as planned, life always offers you a second chance. It's called tomorrow. Each and every day is an opportunity, so believe in yourself and know you have the power. Well, to end the week, we thought we would share a couple fun and inexpensive organizing ideas for around the yard and home. First, consider putting your garden hose in a bucket. If you haven't invested in a wall hang, wind up reel, an inexpensive galvanized bucket is a great option to corral your hose, especially if the alternative is a muddy rubber rat's nest behind the bushes. If you do, be sure to cut drainage holes in the bottom of the bucket to avoid creating a mosquito haven. Second, we'd suggest use a pallet in that awkward garage space. You see people using pallets for many things nowadays, and this is another great example of useful repurposing. 
A slim pallet can make a clever use of what is typically an unused space between the wall and garage door frame. You can even attach it uh, to the wall with hooks, as this homer, homeowner did, so it can be easily removed from the wall for cleaning. Third, turn an eyesore into a storage, storage area. Cut off the back of a $20 yard sale armoire or dresser for a perfect way to hide that jumbled group of utility meters and provide a place to store your yard stuff. This one's attached to the wall with L brackets and concrete anchors. The concrete and stone base keeps it safe from standing water and a coat of marine varnish keeps it dry. If you do this one, I would not store anything flammable inside the cabinet just to be on the safe side. And lastly, you don't want to leave out the kiddos, so what we would suggest is uh, kids love digging in the dirt and playing outside, and these planters turned storage bins, keep, uh, they're a perfect area to store chill and stuff, and uh, allows water and dirt to flow right off. Uh, nothing sticks to the plastic, so make sure the holder is low enough that the kids can easily grab what they want, and hopefully more easily put them away, of course, if you're lucky. And we have one additional suggestion that's completely related to the time of the year. If you have an, an area in your yard where the grass is thinner or patchy, now is the perfect time to do a little bit of light raking and then throw additional grass seed down in the area you hope to fill in a little better. This is often referred to as overseeding. If it's a shady area, pay special attention to buy special shade grass seed because it really does make a difference, the, the different types of seed. As usual, Blend and I hope that you found some of these tips useful, and we hope you enjoyed this week's journey to Mars. We will be headed to our next destination shortly, where we will continue this journey next week. We certainly hope you can join us. As usual, Blend and I appreciate the time that you do spend with us each and every day. Our goal is to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each one of our Morning Minute posts. After all, knowledge is power and we love to share what we come across. We hope you are enjoying the experience. Please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family. That one's important. Glenda and I do appreciate the time that you spend with us. We are creative, high-energy real estate agents, and we would love the opportunity to help you or anyone you know who might be interested in buying or selling property in the near future. As usual, thanks again for your time. Have a great day. Make it an awesome weekend. And remember, you have the power. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah.